what is going on boys it's your boy agents is here today doing a best of five with toast um toast of the undead gaming one of the best players in the world um so this was a super fun series and i'm going to split it into probably a couple of videos and uh, i won't include every single part of the gameplay because it's nearly an hour but i will include some of the better games for sure and uh this one is the first game we played actually and uh as you can tell by the title it's a pretty close game so let's dive right into it so yeah we're playing toast of the undead basically the only rules are um you have to use tier zero powers no eco powers no sabo powers because screw those so you have to use regular road spikes regular boost regular tower boost regular bloom boost so it's basically the same as boosts only except you get road spikes as well which i think is a fantastic thing because uh it adds a lot more skill to it as well it really does so these are some very good uh games that we played Tosa's a great guy. Uh, he's not toxic or anything. He's, uh, we're, we're chill. So, like, this was a pretty fun, just kind of out of the blue. I was like, uh, yo, anyone want to play? Because the only arenas out right now are CC. And I'm not playing no CC. So, yeah. Or powers. I'm not playing powers. Um, I really am really, really, really waiting for the game to actually be good again. And have a permanent tier zero arena. Or a permanent regular powers arena. What we have right here. What the game used to be. Um, since card balance has its own game mode and stuff, so, you know, maybe we'll get that in the future, um, sometime soon, but, uh, Lockie has, uh, told the team, the dev team about, um, some of the things 90% of the community wants to see, so, that would be pretty great, because not a single Bloons tuber, I don't think, plays powers, like, SJB absolutely thinks the game sucks with Sabo powers, so does Boltrix, so do I, so does Lukeon, I don't know how to say his name, something like that, Trippy as well, like, all, all of us. And that's like, we all get decent views, like, I'm the lowest out of all those, but like, you know what I mean? Like, when every single big influencer in the game hates the game, you should change the game! So if you want to grow your game, make it good. So, the first start would be to have a tier 0 permanent arena, um, with road spikes included, just saying. I mean, I wouldn't complain if it was boost only, that's obviously a great step in the right direction. Um, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's just talk about the gameplay. So he's playing very aggressive dart, and this is something I need to learn how to do because after reflecting back on the series, and Toast told me as well, like I need to be a lot more eco um, heavy on farm maps. I need to eco more because I, I play. I just try to farm, farm, farm. Because I mean that works in arenas, but it won't work when you're playing against the top players in the world in uh, private matches. You know, so. That's one takeaway, but nonetheless, I mean, this game started out, I thought I was doing really well, actually. We were out farming, I'm sure he had a lot higher eco, um, but our farms are excellent compared to his. So this game starts out pretty even. I go for the dumbest rush ever. I don't know why I sent those yellows, but whatever. Yeah, I face fall myself because that was absolutely stupid. Okay, so send him a lead, force the uh, jug here. And... I'm about to get up my jug. I don't have that much money saved up, but you can get it up pretty uh, easily. No regions yet, but yep, here comes the balloon boosted round 11 rush, so I'd prepare for that. So I actually sell a farm, get up a spole, and then a trip dart on strong, and that should handle. Might have to use attackers too here, but so that's how you defend a round 11 beefy ass rush without boosting. Sure, I had to sell a farm. But it's 100% worth it, so I don't get balloon boosted and drained by a rush when I don't have my tower boost, you know? So I needed to play a little bit more aggressive right here. So I do force a spolt there. And it looks like he's going to leak a ton. But instead, his 59 lives only go down nothing. So he flawlessly defended that. And now we're tied in farms and he has more eco than me. So not good for us right now. But... We're still in the game nonetheless. Um, I'm kind of getting ready for a bait rush because he has not put up a farm in a minute. And there it is. There's the balloon boosted zebras. He sent like three sets of zebras and then whites over the top with some pinks. And with some good targeting there, we defend that with ease. So that was uh, well played on our part. We defended that bait rush um, pretty well. Because if I would have boosted there, he would have went for a region led and a zebra led rush on this round 15 for sure. So round 15, it comes up. I sell my uh, one of my darts to actually rush him, and he gets up a spolt as well as a trip dart as, and another 0-2 dart. So we force like, I don't know, roughly 1500 over 1500 probably $2,000 of defense right there. So now I go balloon boost around 16 rush. We both are probably going to trade tower boost here, most likely. 
Um, but he actually handles very well. He uses a spike, but he defends very well. So, well done on his part. I'm getting ready for a secondary rush since I just boosted. I'm getting up a jug at the beginning of the map because he's going to send leads first, obviously. So there's the regular leads, and he's going to layer over uh, some region leads. And he realizes how good my jug was doing, so he's like, nah. So that's how you kind of get ready to defend a secondary rush when you don't have a boost to rely on. On offside, at least how I go about doing things. So we still have two spikes. That'll be nice for Moabs. Or just from saving us from dying since we only have 27 lives to spare. So here he goes for a round 18 rush. I get up another Spolt and a Trip Down Strong at the bottom. And that should handle, even though it's a beefy rush. So you can see how aggressive he plays. And sure, look at our farms. We're out farming him. But his eco is probably at like 800 right now. At least. So he, he's not like behind that much at all. We're actually behind at this point, which I didn't realize. So here I send leads over the Moab. We get a tower boost. Good, good, good. And I'll go for a secondary Moab since he shouldn't have too much money saved up. He's going to have to sell probably two plantations and some spolts is my guess. So I'd end up uh, just sending a Moab at him and we'll see how it does. Uh, he sells one trip dart and one farm. Two trip darts and a farm. That's all he had to sell to afford the fan club. So he had a lot more money than I thought. And that's because he keeps getting way more way more money than me throughout the round. Because he has a way higher eco. And we, we actually did a decent little rush there. Forcing an ODS. So I was pretty content with that. But yeah, man. He goes for another rush right here. Round 20. Mixing with AI. Smart, smart, smart. He's getting a ton of eco once again. I didn't realize how many pink balloons he was sending over the top to get eco. And it's pretty wild. But um... Yeah, he's got that weird little spolt there. Okay, he sold it. So, yeah. At first, I was... Early in the game, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got this. I got a huge farm lead. But no. Nope. We're both going to probably get up our facilities, like, the same time. Um, my guess is he was face and me not ecoing, like, at all. I don't know. But whatever. Or he accidentally bought, like, valuable bananas. I don't know. Long last bananas. But here I go for my facility, and he matches. And he has like twice as much eco as me. I think he said he had like 1080 eco or some shit. Here I go for leads, forcing defense. You get up a jug. And he's good to go. I'm going to struggle to that. I might have to spike that. We'll see what I end up doing. Nope, we defend nicely. Alright, so... I mean, our farms aren't good at all. Both of ours. A thousand... Or uh, one facility, round 23. Not that great. But it has been a very aggressive game. Mainly on his part. But I mean... Now I just need to try to just keep on farming on. Because um, I know this is going late game at this point. I'm like, they're all right, we're going late game. It's going to come down to Ace Micro. 100%. So now I'm just farming on. He's farming on as well. We both have a ton of spolts by our jugs. We're just getting ready because AI can be very deadly on this map when you are layering um, lead zebras or rainbows alongside it. So I'm getting ready because round 24 has a ton of ceramics on the round. So... I need to get up a uh, another jug at the beginning of the map where his is. And uh, we should be okay, ideally. But here I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I should have sent him leads right there. I didn't. He went for leads though. And you can see how compact the balloons are right there. And it looks like we're about to die. But, I mean, we defend. But uh, it looked pretty dangerous there. Not going to lie. So, again, you can tell how much more aggressive Toast is playing compared to me. So that's, again, like, I don't play, I only play arenas, man. I don't really play private matches against people. But here he goes for another rush to force defense. He forces me to get up a jug. So that just kind of, I just put down 2k down the drain, basically. And he actually tower boosts there because he knew he didn't have enough money or defense. So he boosted. And uh, we're defending. I'm getting up my facility right now. He's probably going to have the same situation. Yep, he gets his up as well. And he has twice as much eco as me. So, not ideal whatsoever. But, uh, I should have went for a little rush right there, actually. Even though he has three jugs, I could have probably snuck something through. I don't know. But, it's around 26. It's kind of a hard AI round. Just a lot of ceramics and rainbows, I believe. Um, but round 27 is a big round coming up because ra or AI Moabs come out. If you don't know what AI means by now, like... You're definitely new to my channel because I say AI all the time. But if you don't know what AI means, it's basically the uh, the computer programmed balloons that are set to come out every single time. 
So like round 27, there will be mobs every single time. The regular balloons that come out, not the nonsense balloons. That's as best as I can put it. So here we go. He's out farming me, but I sell some stuff and we catch up. But like I said, his eco advantage is what's pulling him to victory right here. So I just burn some spikes and I'm not going to use them anytime um, after that. So that's what I do. And I do a bunch of micro to get up a fan club because I'm just trying my best to keep up with them in farms. And it's not working very well because I keep having to panic and sell and rebuy everything and it's not good so here I go for an ODS actually kind of helped me out with AI and it looks like I'm about to die right there and I tower boost but usually I'm used to and I didn't mean to hard item but I accidentally hit the balloon boost because I'm used to the tower boost being over there sometimes so I mean it's kind of in shambles but I do that a lot in the series actually is I accidentally hit both of them because I hit the wrong one at first and um, so yeah that happens but you can see he's out farming me quite a bit and it's going to be tough for me to win this game. It is round 29, so he's probably going to start sending Zoma Gods here soon. Since he has a farm lead, he can get me to kind of get drained right now. Because he's probably, yeah, he just he has a farm lead. He's probably going to save up, send a Zoma God right now. 20% battery comes up. Good thing we weren't about to die because that would have been terrible. But yeah, you can just tell he's going to send a Zoma God any second now with that farm lead. Um, so I was getting ready for that kind of. Soon, or if not already, I should start to uh, put all my trip darts on strong targeting so they only target zone my gods. So if there's two zone my gods on my screen and one's weaker than the other, but it's ahead of the other, it'll still go for the weaker one, FYI, because it's the same class balloon. But yeah, I'm getting ready, putting all those on strong. We have a Spectre. He's got six facilities to our five, and I know he has a lot more money saved up than me. He's probably got like 25k saved up right now. If I had to guess so I'm expecting a zone my god here any second our defense is like inexistent so non-existent inexistent whatever it is doesn't exist I'm just gonna say that that's the same thing okay so here we go I know I have to get grind and so I start I max out my fan club get 10 of them and there's two zone my gods coming on my screen right now so he just sent $18,000 and look how much money I've saved up 10,000 that's nothing so I have to I pretty much know I have to counter here or else I lose every single time. So I have to counter like right now. Like right now, Asian, what are you doing, man? There we go. All right, so I'm about to counter him. I have to sell farms at this point, 100%, or else I lose every time. Like, it's obvious. He's just going to keep sending. So my mic, this was my first game of the day, or second, third game of the day. But anyways, the micro was okay. It wasn't great. It wasn't terrible. I accidentally pulled out Chipper there. But um, you can see that Zoma got pretty far. So I tower boost. And I know I'm going to have to probably double ground zero this to defend. So what do I do here is I build up one. Nope, actually, I just might zero. All right, never mind. But yeah, we're hanging on. I mean, the micro's trash right now. I guess it's not terrible, but it's not good. Um, but yeah, you can see we're defending right now. It's only round 33, so the, they're not that strong. They're strong, definitely. But the uh, mode class wounds aren't in, unstoppable. So here I double GZ, and then I hit up another GZ. And I have to quickly micro to get that up to defend AI, or to defend those Moabs. And you can see the gameplay is just insane right now. It's actually insane. So I'm just going to kind of let it speak for itself. But um, I'm thinking if I just pop these BFBs, I might win. So here I go for a triple ground zero. I try to triple ground zero. I only get two off, and then I quickly get the third one off. That was pretty damn good micro right there, not going to lie. Um, so now I just kind of have to stall. I sent some BFBs as well. Just because those might turn into Moabs, ideally. So I'm just ground zeroing AI so I don't die to those ceramics. And he actually breaks the Zoma Gods into BFPs. Holy cow. And I don't know how much money he has saved up, but you can see I'm just hanging on. Holy cow, watch this. I'm just going to let the gameplay speak for itself, like I said. They pop into Moabs. And we tie. We actually tie. So we both get defeat on our screen. But um, GG's. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like, won't subscribe. And the rest of the vid video footage will be updated or uploaded later. But um, that's game one. Peace. This is a Chucky Beat production. production. production.